Hey, welcome back. If you have been a user of Android Auto, and especially with one of those older cars where you used cables and had several problems like cannot connect and disconnection issues, well, this video is gonna be really useful for you, especially if you're using wired Android Auto. Here's a simple device. It's hardly the size of a few coins. It's very lightweight. And all this does is convert your wired Android Auto into wireless Android Auto. And it's an amazing device to use. It's plug and play. Very simple, no wire cuts, nothing. Just plug it into your current USB and it works. Let's see how this whole thing works. So, this is the box it comes in. It was a little bashed up because of the shipping, of course, but it was still having that original seal on the side. And this is made in the EU. So, very simple packaging. It's like one of those other gadgets you get and it's very lightweight. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Nothing much mentioned on the box outside except for the AA wireless logo. And inside you have the dongle itself along with a small cable, which I can see. There's also a user manual that is actually outside. I'll show that to you in a second. So all it has is, yes, this is the manual and that's the dongle and it's really small, this thing. And uh, the user manual, well, I went through it, uh, obviously while making the video, and this has the version number mentioned on it. It's, uh, it's made in October, 2022. I think uh, this was launched about two years back and there are several revisions. Uh, there are no instructions per se in this book, but it does have some specifications mentioned. So let me just uh, focus on that. So yeah, so it's a dual core processor, runs on two gigahertz as well as a five gigahertz. Uh, ranges as well as Bluetooth 4.2, USB-C, thankfully, and uh, different frequency bands mentioned over there. Honestly, this is as simple as it gets. There's nothing else in the box, just the cable and the dongle and a small little manual. So the cable, I guess it's intentionally kept smaller so that there are no connection issues. It's well braided and very good quality. I can tell you that. And it's a USB-C as well. And let's see what's written at the back, back of the box. So this is uh, a wireless 002, uh, some sort of model numbers mentioned there, made in the U EU. It's not a waterproof box, so make sure that's not in water. So there's uh, the USB-C input there, Type-C input, and it's got a LED indicator on the left and on the right, there is a small reset button. Uh, that's about it. So very simple device, and I think all the electronics are just packed inside. So plugging it in is very simple. Just put it into the USB-C port and the other end goes into your car. And the best part, this comes with a two year warranty. So how well does this work? Well, you need to use an app. So they have a AA wireless dongle app. So you need to just scan this code. Let's do that right away. And it's very simple. So once you scan it, it will take you to Play Store immediately. And that's called the AA wireless for Android Auto. It's a very simple app. Uh, it's needed to kind of set this up. It helps you configure the device. And that's what makes it stand out. I mean, this has got an app which lets you control how this device works with your uh, car. And that makes it a little more interesting to use as compared to some of the competition in the market. So yeah, uh, there are some things here you can see. So it says start the car once you plug this in and you do have uh, to go to settings and uh, disable some of the things which it's mentioned over here. It kind of has this wizard, tells you to enable wireless Android Auto. Uh, you will fumble across this to and fro because it's uh, it's not specific. It can change based on the car you have. So yeah, once everything is done, you plug it in. And I did try launching it. It didn't work for the first few times, but yeah, it was probably a mistake from my side. So yeah, it does take some time for you to kind of set it up and it's a processor built in. So it does take that little bit of time to boot up, right? And there are a lot of tweaks and there are a lot of websites which tell you how to get this connection seamless and it works eventually. And once it does, it works beautifully. So you need to pair this up with Bluetooth the first time you're doing this. Uh, so it's very simple. So uh, once you connect to the device and it's paired with your phone and there's a sync between your car as well as this dongle. And that's when, you know, launching Android Auto becomes really easy. So this is the launch screen. Again, I did have a timeout, but it did work. So yep, here you can see in the app, it's actually showing that it's already connected to the dongle. So that sorts my problem off. So all I need to do is just 
probably uh, check out the app a little bit here. Let me show it to you. So different modes here. So you have USB mode, which lets you connect in different ways. Pass through mode in case you just want to send some data. Dongle mode. Well, a lot of different things. I really did not want to get into it because it's uh, it's just plug and play. I, I just kept it on default settings. Uh, you also can choose between two gigahertz and five gigahertz mode. Five gigahertz, of course, uh, transmits more data faster. So I left it at that. Some say you can actually play with the channel so that you can get better connectivity, but I left it as auto. What else do we have? So yeah, start stop mode. So some cars do not power off the USB ports and uh, using this option helps you there so that it gets cut off immediately as you come out of your car. And there are some bug fixes. This is changed DPI mode here, which means some car screens may not look as good as what it's supposed to be on wired Android Auto. So you have an option to play around with the DPI for that as well. I didn't touch that either. Yeah, so several things here to help you, you know, make this work custom to your car. So yeah, again, auto video focus. If you read this, it says uh, it lets you start uh, Android Auto only when you want to start it rather than, you know, it's starting on its own. So different options and a very simple to use app. And it's also got an update feature. It will automatically update uh, for, you know, new firmwares if you let it do that. So here's that screen. So you can choose if you want to do it only on Wi-Fi or just do it all the time. So that's the app and it's very simple to use. So I'm going to pull out my Android Auto cable and I'm going to add this to the car. Okay, that's all you need to do and just dump this in that gap. So I just leave this dongle over there and uh, it, it has different lighting uh, colors based on what it's doing. So when you initially start it, it starts off with a green, then it starts blinking if it's transmitting data and then eventually turns a solid blue, which means you have a good connection. So like I mentioned, every car works differently. I don't want to say that, you know, this is going to work fine for your car. It might take some time for you to set it up. This is a pretty old car. It's 2018. Uh, thankfully, it had Android Auto. So once I start up this, uh, within a few seconds, it pops up saying that, you know, switch to Android Auto works beautifully. And that's a solid blue color I was talking about. So it's uh, established that connection. And now I think there's a five gigahertz line going on between the phone and the dongle. And you will see that the map is really seamless. I, I, I expected some sort of stutter, some sort of lag, but it was awesome. All your apps work fine. Uh, there's no lag in Google Maps at all. And it's uh, so brilliant. Even the calls worked really nicely. I mean, I didn't have any kind of connection issues. Even taking calls on this was easy. Um, no problems whatsoever. And this was Android Cool Walk. That works fine too. So if you have other apps installed, I have hardly anything on this. But if you install other apps like WhatsApp and everything else, that should work fine too. And this small little device lets you do all that. And uh, it gets a little warm. So yeah, it does get a little warm, but it did not affect the performance. I've heard of people saying it crashes. I didn't expect uh, or experience any of those. So uh, the few apps I have here, I mean, there's no problem with that as well. It works flawlessly. So yeah, I had no problems whatsoever. And this is a very old car display. So you can see that it works fine even with, you know, pretty basic Android Auto systems. So should do well in your car. Just look at the way, the fluidity of the map. I mean, there's no issues. I mean, there's no lag, lag at all. So yeah, YouTube also worked fine. I mean, uh, of course, the, uh, the video won't play on your screen, but you can actually play music on your phone and it was able to play it without any problems on the car system. The infotainment didn't have any issues playing YouTube videos as well. So yeah, so this uh, this map thing, I, I thought there should be some sort of a delay when you're actually moving on the road. So I noticed that this worked flawlessly too. So it's it was you know updating the map in real time. So there was no much of a delay. Uh, I I could see the road in front and whatever landmarks came in front of it. It was at the same time it appeared on the map. So no delays on that as well. So absolutely great. 
And the best part is this is not just a dongle. They have a good website. They have a good support site. They have good customer service. And uh, their FAQs kind of answer most of the questions many people have with connectivity issues and stuff like that. Two year warranty, of course, which I mentioned. And uh, the reviews are pretty good. I think many people are actually happy with this. There are not many uh, Android Auto devices in the market, but uh, AA Wireless is one of those older ones which are really doing well competing with brands like Motorola, which are also making this device. So yeah, they have a very good website. Do check it out. I'll leave links in the description below. There is a discount code as well, 10% off to anyone who wants to buy this in the US, UK or EU. So there is a discount code in the description. So if you're looking to just step into your car, get Android Auto working without any wires, keeping the phone in your pocket, this is the way to go. There's no need to play with any app. I mean, it's seamless the moment you set it up once in the beginning and that's about it. If you like this video, please do hit the like button. Do consider subscribing. It really helps the channel. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching Artec. I hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for more such videos and do check out my other playlist in my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.